Defense has become critical in assuring our safety and security. IP camera systems have become part of our cities, workplaces, and homes. In this video, we review IP camera systems and provide advice about selecting all the components that make up the system. First, let's review what the IP camera system consists of. It's not just the camera. It also includes the video recording system and the network. It can be a very complex system. It can include many other things depending on what you want to do. For example, you may require a very wide-angle lens, or one that allows you to view areas that are very far away. You may even want to have a covert system that operates at night. In this case, you may want to add IR illumination. The system can get much more complicated if you need to include a wireless connection or operate where there is no power. So now, let's see what you will need. Well, before you select anything, you need to first establish your objectives. Do you want to catch a crook? Do you want to watch people working at the factory? Do you want to protect yourself from insurance fraud? Or do you just want to watch animals in the field? It's very important to define what you want to accomplish so you don't spend money on a system and then be disappointed when it doesn't meet your expectations. Your objectives will affect the type of system you should select. Let's take a look at a specific example. Say you decide that your objective is to stop stealing at your warehouse. You want to catch the person in the act and before they get away. You want to be able to recognize the person in the video for later prosecution. Since you want to catch them in the act, the system needs to send an alarm when it detects a person moving. The alarm can cause an email to be sent, or you can have a guard view the real-time video. Now that we know what we want to accomplish, we can select the right camera, the lens, and the video management system. One of the cameras will view an aisle in the warehouse. It's a long corridor that's about 100 feet long and about 10 feet wide. Based on these dimensions, we can estimate the angle of the lens. We draw a triangle from the lens of the camera. The base of the triangle is the field of view. If we want to cover most of the corridor, we need to widen the field of view to about 40 feet. If the angle is too narrow, we will miss some areas close to the camera along the sides of the row. Using trigonometry, we calculate that the lens angle should be 22 degrees. Next, we select the resolution of the camera. We would like enough resolution so that when we digitally zoom in, we can identify the person's face. If the camera doesn't have enough resolution, the picture will become pixelated when we zoom in too much. This means we will need a higher resolution camera. Based on the calculations, we need a 5 megapixel camera at this location to allow us to see a person's face. Now let's consider the video recording system. There are three types of systems available. There's one that uses your own Windows computer and special video management software. There is a second type that uses a dedicated computer with the video management software pre-installed. This is usually called an NVR or Network Video Recorder. And there's a third type of system that sends the video to a remote server on the internet. This is referred to as cloud recording. So which one is best for this application? Since we would like to be notified in real time of any intrusion, Probably the video management software is best. It has more flexibility and functionality for handling various alarm situations and then notifying a security center. Here's what Ocularis from ONSSI can do. 
Ocularis includes a complete toolset for automatic alerting and for managing and handling of events by an entire team of operators. Alerts from across the organization, generated by motion detection or by integrated access control, video content analytics, or other security systems, are qualified, prioritized, and delivered to authorized users. Automatic push video alerts will pop up on users' dedicated alert panes, along with visual cues or audible annunciations. This was a relatively simple system, yet we had to make many decisions to get it right. It all starts by defining your objectives. More complex systems can include IP door access control and even intercoms to control security at the doors. As you can see, the IP camera system is more than just a camera. Complete systems can be designed to cr create a complete safety and security environment. Please contact Kentronix for help in defining your system. We not only provide the complete system, we also provide consulting and engineering that assures you get exactly what you need. You can see us on the web at www.kentronics.com or give us a call at 914-944-3425.